everyone thank you for buying the VR hands from unity asset store now when you run the program run the demo you'll see uh, these hands with the tattoo on it and if you press the number of keys in the top row of your keyboard you can go through each animation uh, they're mostly poses so they go from pose to pose and that's quite good because you can assign different uh, controller inputs for different poses of the hand uh, you can also make up your own animation uh, you know, keyframes inside unity quite easily just by locate, locating each bone and setting the keyframe um, and what I've got here is I've got one two three four five the finger counting thing assigned to Q W E R T uh, Y is like a kind of call me uh, phone pose and F is like a flashlight pose. Uh, what you're seeing here is a blood shader that I've just added so you can bring in some blood effects and it's just an extra uh, semi-transparent texture that gets worked in through the shader and you can control the levels of it there. As you can see it's quite a lot of blood so it's kind of like the hands have been right inside the guts. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so there's definitely room for more texture variations that I will create in future packs uh, where there be less blood and you can you know swap them out make different materials and then swap the materials. Uh, I'm just going to show you here inside Unity uh, how you can modify one of the, materi one of the materials. <coughs> so this is the white, uh, the custom shader white skin with the tattoo. And I've just made up a really brief tattoo saying hope on the fingers. Uh, one of the issues with this is uh, if you were to put this tattoo in the left hand, because the left hand is basically a flipped version, the word hope will be backwards and the letters will look wrong. So it's just a case of making a variation up for each hand, which also needs to be done in a future update. Um, I can make tattoos based on request for future updates or if you want something specific you can get in touch by email. But I'm just showing you here how the uh, the base tone and the subsurface scattering tones could be affected. Uh, just change the, the base of the hand to a green and you also get control of the palm of the hand because if you've ever noticed and uh, people with darker skin tend to have lighter palm colour um, just because the fact that the sun never really got there over time so that's left the pigment lighter. Um, so here I've just added gloss so that's inside the alpha channel there and you can add gloss to the nails like extra gloss over and above the the main gloss which is driven through the the smoothness of the metal smooth texture just above there and you can control the tattoo color and the alpha slider uh, controls how much uh, it's brought in or not you can also do away with the texture just by removing the texture there same with the blood okay, so I'm just changing the the gloss value which I tend to put in the alpha channel of the colour it just means less clutter I don't have to have sliders everywhere for things quite a powerful little set up here and you can by all means start hacking away at how the shader works there's an optional mask there which actually is used to drive the fingernails the subsurface scat scattering and the palm uh, based on the red, green, blue channels. So you'll see that there and you'll wonder what it is that's actually helping to drive where those colours get moved to. Um, so a useful shader, you can use it for unbased and if you want tattoos. Here I'm in 3D coat and I'm just going <clears> to <throat> work on a new base here to create a really quick tattoo. I don't have to do anything too elaborate so I'm just going to make something quite simple. Can we hear the the applications acting up a little bit? So just need to there we go. tab in and tab out always works. Okay, 
so you just draw I'm not actually drawing on the original texture I'm drawing in a layer above in 3d coat and what that means is it's a separate thing that I can work on outside so I've just made a little dagger thing a spearhead dagger little flames Okay, that's that's good enough. It gives you the idea um, of where it's going to end up. Now I've tried to keep the the UVs of the hand pretty, you know, where it makes sense, and you can see how that tattoo's emerged there. It's a bit kind of, you know, in UV terms, it's kind of bent because of the way the uh, this the the textures the texture UVs have relaxed into that area, but painting in 3D, like 3D coat. I think you can also paint in Photoshop if you import your mesh. You can paint directly on the mesh there and you can get the, the black and white texture that you need here. So it's black background and then white for the tattoo which helps uh, when it comes to the shader you can you can colour tint it quite easily. And that also drives the, the alpha value so you have to make sure the the background's completely black, otherwise you affect the overall skin tone of the hand. So I'm just saving that out. So I'll I would be doing a few extra tattoos and uh, blood variations this way. I'm just showing you how easy it is to just bring in the, the black and white. Tattoo and just choose the mesh, find the material. You'll notice on the mesh there's a bunch of material elements there. That's purely for the the demo, so you can swap through them. You, know, you can remove that later if you need. Okay, so I've added in the tattoo there and I'm just colour tinting it and you can see the, the hands looking really kind of like greasy. So I'm just gonna change the smoothness value. Okay, sorry about that. So there you have it. You can customize the nails. Uh, you can change the how much it replaces the the base tone. Sometimes you see through through the nails a little bit, so you can you can dial that out just by replacing. Change the tattoo color, and we've got a kind of gothic looking hand here. Well, the daggers maybe a little bit of a cheap tattoo, but you get the idea. And you can make quite a few variations. I've supplied in this a uh, few material types, like for dark skin, tan skin, and white skin. Uh, the dark skin actually uses a variation of the albedo texture because it's, it's, it just made sense to make that darker uh, itself, so you don't, don't have to drive it too much. Okay, hope you enjoy, um, and please review the the product and give me any any uh, positive feedback is always prefer preferable, um, especially to make the, the package better. And uh, let me know any issues that you might have. Thank you. Bye.